morning. It's Robert Epps again. Uh, this is a song that has to have a little explaining to it. Uh, a few years back, we we're uh, in Columbia County, Georgia. Buddy of mine's granddaddy's old beautiful barn. Long story short, uh, we'd been up partying most of the night, and I'm, as usual, the last one standing. Days breaking. I'm playing my guitar in the barn, hear a helicopter coming. Well, I'm going, wow, we know somebody with a helicopter. Well, not really. Uh, my buddy Terry, uh, for some un unbeknownst to us, had a reputation for possibly occasionally having some pot on the property. Well, somebody thought he did. And, uh, I'm not going to mention his last name, but he lived on Dozier Road, uh, and the song goes like this. Uh -oh. We make house calls, that's what their t-shirts read. We make house calls. I swear that's what it said. We make house calls. That's what their t-shirts read. Some guy named Gary said, yes, a wake up call. Go get Terry out of bed. We make house calls. Helicopters in the sky. Mess up your high. We make house calls Well say hey fellas listen I'm just a guitar picker I sing the real songs I was just sitting out here in the barn rehearsing Though you guys came along So give Terry my condolences I'll be packing up my gear Gary said, son, keep playing your song. You ain't leaving here till this house call is over. Helicopters in the sky. Mess up your high. We make house calls. Terry wrote this verse. When the boys were finally through with us, serenity restored. There seemed to be a cool breeze blowing through that old barn door. And riding the wind was my brother Robert Epps, tickling the strings of his ovation. And singing, hey, give me three steps, we make house calls. Helicopters in the sky Mess up your high We make house calls We make house calls That's what the t-shirt's red And Johnny Waters, you're not off the hook either And it's just a matter of timing that you weren't there, Frog and Russ, Keith, and Tom. We're gonna leave the girls' names out of this because they're probably married now with children and I'm sure they go to church every Sunday and pray that nobody ever finds out about this house call. True story.